Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at smallfarmersjournal.com, and they got an article on Russian dacha gardens. These are small-scale gardens that many Russians have. Now, the first part of this article goes in the doom or gloom, food waste, food shortages, all that, and then it offers the solution which are the dacha gardens. It also the article also talks about the Cuban food crisis, which is a fascinating situation where people were starving, but they found a way to bring back the free market just for their food system and it brought people back to life. But the dacha gardens are somewhat similar. They were starving under Soviets and communism, and they had to grow their own food. And now it provides up to 50% of their marketable food or rather their market value of food and here's some other stats down here 92 percent of russia's potatoes 77 percent of vegetables 87 percent of berries and fruit 59 percent of meat and 49 percent of milk and they think that this is an underestimate because they don't take into account self-provisioning efforts of wild harvesting or foraging of wild growing plants berries nuts mushrooms and fishing and hunting that also contributes to the local food economy a lot of good stuff going on in Russia as far as local food production. 50% at least of their food value is grown at home. And this is done on 3% of their land. So 3% of their land produces 50% of their food. And this is done mostly naturally, organically. Of course, some people use sprays. But this is sustainable and it's local. Just one more example of how we can use current technologies and techniques to feed the world locally and naturally. You can read more about it in the link in the description, and if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day!